Hello there everyone, welcome back to Try New Things where today we're going to do a bit of a product review. If you're anything like me, you've been driving around or cruising around your property, hauling your chainsaw around either in the bucket of your tractor, in the box of your side-by-side, -side, maybe even in the trunk of your car or SUV. But to now today I want to take advantage of a very thoughtful gift for my wife. She picked up for me this RJ Designs Limited. Uh, Rob's chainsaw holder. So not sure what it looks like as of yet. I haven't opened it up But I intend to do that today. We are going to have a bit of a challenge and we may have to get creative because on the RK25 or on the TYM equivalent You've got those lights and speaker systems mounted to the ROPS where normally You would put your chainsaw holder. So we're going to go ahead open this up Take it over to the tractor and see if we can figure out the best way that we can mount this to hold our chainsaws going forward so they're not rattling around in the bucket of our tractor. Here's what we've got that came inside the box. A couple side rails, I would assume. And I'm hoping I see some instructions somewhere. Not yet. There they are. So we've got a complete set of instructions here on how to mount the chainsaw mount. Now again, where we would normally put it uh, is occupied in part by speakers and lights. So let's go over to the tractor and kind of dummy fit this up to see where the best place potentially to put this. We may have to get creative a little bit on how to go about mounting this and not obstruct the backhoe or getting on and off the tractor, but let's see. Now before we do head over to the RK25, we're going to go ahead and install these PVC guide bars. And I'm kind of tickled pink that they're red. So they'll match the tractor, but we'll go ahead and screw those to the uh, to the mount uh, like it shows in the instructions and then we'll go try to figure out how it's all going to fit together. Now in my case I have a pretty small chainsaw. I've got a steel MS-170 with a 16 inch bar. There's a couple different positions you can set these at for a wider bar or for a narrower bar. We're definitely going to be putting it uh, for the narrowest bar possible. So let's go ahead and get that bolted on and uh, see how it looks. Now that we've got this completely assembled, it's time to go over to the tractor and see what our options are. So looking at the RK tractor in particular, or the RK25, you can see what I was talking about, but the light and speaker mount. It's really good to have it there, uh, but it's going to mess us up a little bit when we're trying to install, I think, our chainsaw holder. And then you've got the connection here, or the hinge, if you wanted to fold down your ROPS, uh, which does create somewhat of an obstruction as well. Now, I never take my ROPS off, uh, so that's not a concern for me, and I don't fold them down. I can get into the garage door, no problem. So the next place we have clear space is on this angled portion, so that's an option to mount the chainsaw. But the only way you're going to get at your chainsaw is standing on the tractor tire. Like if you stand on the back tire, you'd be able to reach your chainsaw. Not convenient, uh, but if we end up doing that, that's an option. I, now I could go with some uh, longer bolts and build some spacers and try to mount it to the inside of the ROPS. That's an option. Or really long bolts and either mount it to the back or the front. And if I mount it to the back, that's going to obstruct ease of getting on and off of the backhoe when it's on. So 
So I think the front would be a better choice if we go that route. But something I want to try first, and I've seen similar setups where people have installed it here on the uh, bracket for the front loader. I would have to remove it to grease the tractor appropriately once in a while, but I think that could easily be done. So I may try it here first. If it works, I may leave it there. If that doesn't work, we're going to come back and try to find some longer bolts and I think mount it on the inside of the ROPS versus the side of the ROPS, if that makes sense. Now conceptually this is where I'm thinking about mounting it, but I do got to make sure that I have conceptually complete range of motion for the bucket support arm. As it goes up and down, we don't want it interfering with our brackets. Again, I will have to remove this to grease the tractor or remove the bucket. I do grease the tractor quite often. I don't remove the bucket all that often. But let's go ahead and try this out. Dummy fit this in here and see how it's going to work. Right off the bat, I can see where we'll have a challenge with mounting this at more than one location. So you can see here, there's a nice pass through. So over here, I can pass through the bracket, but at the top, there's an angled plate here, which obstructs. Now there is a diagonal option, but my brackets aren't long enough. But let me play around with it and see what we can come up with here. I would say I'm at the point where this is a successful mock-up. Now, using the bolts that they gave me, right here, they were too long for this bottom connection sandwiching between the plate, and too short for this connection where I have to cross all the way over to the other side. So tonight, I'm going to pick up some longer bolts so that I can finish this connection by putting this last bracket over here and some slightly larger bolts for here so I can get a lock washer on it. But other than that, I'm kind of liking how this mount is set up. Let me get the chainsaw, put it in there and try it out. Okay everybody, we're back from Tractor Supply where I got a big bag of miscellaneous nuts and bolts. So it's time to finish up this chainsaw holder on the RK25. Now last night when I was thinking about this, there's no reason why I have it mounted so high. When I put the chainsaw in, the handle sticks up pretty good above the hood. But I've got a lot of space below and a lot more attachment points that I can take advantage of. So while I'm replacing the bolts, I'm going to try lowering this a little bit and then we'll check back in with you and wrap up this video with uh, our conclusions. So here it is in its final position. I lowered it quite a bit and used the top two attachment points. You can see here, use the short bolts where it passes through and just sandwiches the plate and then the new longer bolts to sandwich the entire arm. And my bucket's currently on the ground. I still have lots of travel room here before I hit the bolt. Yeah, so I think it's going to work out good. The other good thing is I can now reach the grease points without removing it. So only one more test and that's put the chainsaw back in and see how it looks. And there we have it, the MS-170 mounted to the RK-25. I am pretty pleased with that. It's a nice height, easy to grab, easy to work with. It's not going to be in the way of the loader arms. Yeah, I'm pretty tickled with that. But anyway, I think we'll wrap it up here. As always, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until the next video, bye-bye.
this RJ Designs LLC ROPS bar chain holder. And so, all right, we've got that completely assembled. It's time to, uh, now I've got to make sure that I have complete range of motion in, uh, 